Hello and welcome to tutorial number four. In this episode, we'll go through the ES22 Pinyard Electronic Support Module, what it does and how it works in game. So what is the Pinyard? The Pinyard allows you to uh, understand where the enemy may be without necessarily understanding the range and the distance. You will understand the direction, however, no additional information such as size or the exact position. This module works by looking for the radar signatures. All ships will have a radar signature, even if the radar and the communication suites are turned off. At this point in time, the radar signature of a ship doesn't seem to impact the pinard's ability to locate that ship, apart from requiring a line of sight to the target. So ships blocked by asteroids uh, or other terrain will negate the pinard's ability to detect that ship via radar. Being one of the smaller modules, the pinard can be equipped to all ships. However, it is best served on the Sprinter, uh, or the Reigns being the Corvette or the Frigate classes, as part of a, a scouting or electronic warfare ship, which is then able to guide other ships to its targets. So a quick overview in the uh, Fleet Editor. Here you can see the, uh, the pinard mounted on a Frigate on the top. The pinard does occupy one of the uh, mounting slots, which is used for both communications, electronic warfare, the sensors, which it's part of, as well as all weapons. So there is a trade-off in mounting this option. Uh, you have to determine whether or not you want to sacrifice a weapon for one of these extra modules. If we load into a game where we have uh, one frigate with the Pinard electronic support module versus another frigate with the electronic uh, support module, we can see how this operates. First of all, the Pinard at the moment isn't displaying any tracks. Uh, likely due to the fact that if I come down and make this uh, more horizontal. You can see that the pinard can't pick it up at this point in time as it can only see what's in a 180 degree uh, field of view of it, which at the moment, if we come back to this view, noting that the pinard is up the top here, that is likely below what the pinard can see. So if we change the heading real quick and dip it down, Noting that we can see this here with a radar track. I'll turn time scale off so it speeds up a little bit. I'll turn it back on. We can now see that the, uh, the pinard is actually picking up. From map perspective, we can see both where the, the track from our radar as well as the track from the pinard is correlating. And that's, that's pretty close. One thing to note is that the, the signal number has no re relation to the track number. Uh, they're independent numbering, numbering systems. So from here, we can see, um, we know that, so from here, we can see that the pinard is picking up both the radar track as well as the signal track. If I was to turn radar off, we will lose the track, uh, 3342. However, we'll continue to see the signal track. Now, if we come back to the tactical map, we know that somewhere along this line here is indeed uh, the enemy frigate. We turn radar back on. We can see that the frigate currently is somewhere between, what's that, 2,000, 3,000 and 4,000 meters out, or 4,000, 5,000, and somewhere along that line. If I turn the electronic support module off, The track will hang around for a few seconds and then disappear. As we can see from the radar signature, we're currently reduced as we have the radar off. However, by turning off the electronic support module, uh, there is no impacts on our signature. So you can keep this on, keep the track active, and note that there is no cooldown time. However, it will say idle. Show once again how uh, the radar requires line of sight within its 180 degrees. If we change the heading once more, make it more vertical. Notice that as the frigate starts to, to rotate up, the enemies now come in uh, visual range. But as we turn our bow up, that signal track is going to be lost. There it goes. If we clear that, if we clear the heading, we'll start to see once again, as the electronic support module comes back into uh, range and vision of the enemy, we're going to pick up that signal track. It should appear any second. We're 
we're going to need to actually push this back down. There we go, the signal track is back. So there's something to consider of where you're positioning your ships and where you think the enemy will be. So you direct the electronic support module to where um, it will pick up the enemy. Now we've loaded in here. Uh, we've got a dummy fleet with a battleship, a few other ships. Uh, I think there's about five or six in total. You can see a couple tracks on the screen. So what does this look like when we have a larger fleet? Um, once again, we'll push out the heading of our frigate down so that we can get the signal tracks and we'll turn off the radar. This is what we start to see is multiple um, multiple signals jumping through, uh, which we can then correlate with our radar when they eventually get in, uh, in position. That's it for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Head across to the Steam store to wishlist the game and have a look at the Discord channel uh, from the developer for upcoming updates.